channel today is Saturday and I'm currently making breakfast it is 9 27 a.m. I'm just making some pancakes really quick after we eat we're gonna head out to the zoo the Northwest Trek Zoo it's a little bit of a drive from us we're trying something new I'm just making some pancakes It is. I want to see a black bear. Definitely got the military discount. I don't go anywhere that does not offer the military discount. I will say that. But it's beautiful. I want to see a black bear. I do want to see a black bear. Wait, there's no black bear. And it's bears very here. quiet. There's no, there's nothing quiet. But yeah, enjoy this bear. zoo experience with us. As a badger. It's like he looks like a raccoon, but like a dog. Guys, yeah, we saw a badger! Whoa. Is he gonna poop? No, he doesn't poop. He like sprays. Hey, mom, I have a one. Where's the beefers? <laughs> well, I wanna I go upstairs. No. Well, you wanna go upstairs? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Look how big that porcupine is. Wait. Oop. Otters! No, try again. Oh. Seals? No. Beaver. Beaver. Where's the beaver? I, I used to be obsessed with beavers. Obsessed with beavers. I don't know why. But I used to have this stuffed animal. Mommy, this is a tricky animal. And it got so bad, like my mom had to throw it away. Cause I just would not let that beaver go. Yeah. What is that? Um. Oh, look at you, you're so cute. Mom, no, no, no. Oh, that's this is a badger. Oh, a badger, where's the badger? There it is. Oh my, oh my God. Uh-uh, Eli. I've never seen that before in my life. Mom, I thought they were going to bed. I've never seen a badger in my life. Look, there goes Charlie. Are you going to jump down there? Heck no, boy. Mm -hmm. oh, Mommy fall, would. Right, Mom? Yeah, that would not be a good thing. So right now it's 11.19. At 12 o'clock we have some type oh, of tour ride. Uh -huh. Don't you see raccoons? Mommy, do you know raccoons live here? Yes, I do know that. Yeah. Um, at 12 something, we have some type of tours, like some type of car that you get into. Yeah. So we're definitely going to do that. Wait, what does that mean? Um, it's a some type of tour. I don't know. We get into some type of car or something. Mm -hmm. And um, this zoo is beautiful. Wait, so after that, is that too? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We just keep looking around. This place is beautiful, and I love how quiet it is. And I love um how quiet it is, and I, I don't see any bears anywhere. Oh, we're gonna see them. We're gonna go find the bears, guys. Hey, I'm not looking at that Okay. What happens if you touch it? <laughs> <laughs> How do you touch it? Yeah. You can just go like this. Yeah, but if you touch it, there's something scary's gonna happen. Mm -mm. Oh no, it'll be fine. Just so you don't, you're not rough to, to, to get it off balance or something. Oh, so it's not yeah, real? No, you're welcome. This, this wolf is not just, real. Just like your, you have big dog at home? I guess he's teeth. Mm -hmm. No doggies. I guess he's teeth. Is that a baby on the, I mean, is. I don't think those are babies. I don't know. Not me. All I gotta see is just the otter and- Hi! Hi, white bear! 
That's a black bear. What are you white bear? No, you did not kiss the bear. Don't kiss the look he likes it. Mom, if you kiss it, then he will be very angry. He will just fuck me. Are you having a good sleep? I know those planes are so loud. Baba, did you know that they were this big? Yeah, they were this big. You knew that? And he's three thousand pounds. Are oh, no, don't run away. There's two yeah. on the oh. chest of the right of the tram. Oh, I see one. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Excuse me. Look, look, look. Hi. Oh, yeah. Yep, I know. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh my gosh. Mom, and then in the in the nighttime they say, yeah. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I hope it's not too dark in here, but would you believe that our power is out at least twice a month this summer so far? The power has gone out in our community and it's so annoying. But we are about to go for a bike ride because I don't want to just sit here. It's my little bike ride fanny pack that I put on. Um to carry like my cards and um my inhaler. Cause I got asthma. <laughs> And um, I also carry a first aid kit because y'all was nephew. He's just like me when I was a kid. I used to get balled up. We're gonna go outside and touch grass. You know, we need that. Internet, dude, kidding me. I wanna go get some watermelon. I'm just, I don't I have to cut the watermelon, so we're gonna wait for that, honey. This is the little first aid kit that I bring because Lord knows we need it. No, Lord knows we don't need it. We got some gauze. We got some um, band-aids and some Neosporin. I have some alcohol swabs, but I don't know what happened to that. Yeah, you can put that in a trash bag. We need commentary. So I got my cards. Got this. We'll bring some water. Can you grab uh, two waters off the pantry? A little bike basket, y'all. Uh-uh, do it gently, babe. Is there anything else that we need in there? We need, we need, we need, we need watermelon. No, we don't. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, and then bike. this goes here. Oh, you're gonna, what does it say? It says what he just drew me. What? <laughs> what does it say? It says, I want a snack. That's very creative, baby. I love that. I look very happy to give you a snack. <laughs> is that what kind of snack is that? A cookie. I'm so done with him. <laughs> You're hilarious. All right, guys. We're en route. We're no, out no, here. What? Do you even know what that means? <laughs> I anticipate a lot of people coming out this morning since everybody's power is out. Anticipate, mm -hmm. like expect, or I think that something is going to happen. Oh, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. He's doing such a good job.
Yeah. I'm not. Everybody's going to start coming out now. All right, guys, we made it back home. We got about four miles in of bike riding, so that was awesome. We ended up going up to the exchange, got some Starbucks, walked around the exchange for a little bit. And of course, I was finding so much stuff that I actually wanted to get for the household, but because all I had was my, saw, my small bike basket, I just knew I wouldn't be able to fit all that in that basket. So but anyways, it was an awesome experience. The weather was great outside. On our way there though, of course I didn't film it, but my, we ran across this little boy who was crying and I had powered up a hill and I was waiting for my son to follow. And I looked back and I realized that he was talking to this little kid. And as I got closer, I seen the little boy was upset. He had to have been about like five or six. And he said that he got separated from his parents. Like they were all bike riding apparently. And um, he was very, he was uh, very well spoken. I will say that because I had to probe a little bit to try to figure out where his family would be. But he said they were all bike riding in their little community. And then he must have like separated, went around the block once. And um, somehow, some way, he could not find his family. And I'm thinking that they probably had a lot of kids. That's my guess. It's hard to keep eyes on so many kids probably. I don't I don't know, but I can't relate because I only have one child. So my eyes are always on him, but I can only imagine if you have multiple kids, maybe how difficult it would be to keep track of all of them. I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. But the fact that like when he found us, he was a little bit away from his house. So I'm just like, are y'all looking for y'all kid? Like, do y'all realize that y'all kid is missing? Because we walked, we uh, walked back up to his house. He was able to show us where he lived and um, nobody was home. So I went over to two neighbors' houses, the one directly across and then like across the street and nobody was answering their door. I told the little boy, I was just like, well, you know, I rang his doorbell and I was, he was like, well, maybe people are upstairs. And I'm like, okay, well, you, he said, come on, let's go inside and check. I'm like, uh, no, we're going to stand out here. You go, you go upstairs and check. And if there's nobody up there, then come on out and let us know. And we'll figure out what else that we need to do to find your family. And as he was going upstairs, his, the neighbor directly to like the left of their house, to the right of their house was coming out, taking out their trash. And I was like, excuse me, ma'am. Would you happen to know who your neighbors who your neighbors are? Because their child got separated from the family and he's pretty upset. And she actually knew the neighbor. So she like text his mom. And um I kind of just let her handle it from there because they're neighbors and um yeah, so the little boy is on my mind. I hope that he's okay. I'm pretty sure he's fine. Like, that's one thing about being in a community. We definitely take care of one another's kids. Definitely will say that. But he just broke my little heart. His little butt broke my heart. Like, he was so upset and distraught. And I'm like, this is probably a core memory for him. Like, getting separated from his family, family like that. That's super traumatic. And... I almost wanted to go and check on him, but I'm just like, it's okay. The neighbor has him. Everything is okay. I'm pretty sure it all worked out. And my son and I continue to bike ride, and I just kind of 
tried to keep a lookout for a family who looked like maybe they were looking for someone but we didn't we didn't see them so that was just so crazy and I'm so glad that we were available to him so that he can um, at least you know find an adult and let them know what was going on but my heart goes out to the little boy that's crazy and I genuinely hope that I don't know what happened with the family but you gotta watch your kids like thank god that we're on a military base because if this was just like out there people are wild I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye